The family of the woman who was pushed to her death on subway tracks over the weekend is speaking about their unimaginable loss. And while Mayor Adams insists the subway is still safe, some say crime data tells a different story. CBS 2's Ali Bauman reports now from Times Square. She was funny. She was smart. She just like did everything right. 40 year old Michelle Go, an Upper West Side businesswoman, spent her last 10 years helping at risk families in New York. In a statement, her family says she was a beautiful, brilliant, kind, and intelligent woman who loved her family and friends. Her life was taken too soon in a senseless act of violence, and we pray that she gets the justice she deserves. Go was killed Saturday morning when police say 61 year old Marshall Simon pushed her into an oncoming train at the Times Square subway station. I'm always worried about getting pushed onto the, the train tracks. You have to always have your eyes open for everything. Hours after her death, Mayor Eric Adams insisted the subway is safe. When you have an incident like this, the perception is what we're fighting against. This is a safe system. But the latest police data shows transit crime citywide is up 41% over the last month and up 65% so far this year. The NYPD says there were 30 subway shoving incidents in 2021 compared to 26 the year prior. I tried asking him about this Monday. Is the perception the issue when the transit numbers show that subway crime is up? I feel like he's just trying to give us the runaround. Safety is safety at the end of the day. There is a feeling of hope that things will get better with the new administration, I think. Um, but I have not seen it yet. Earlier this month, Adams rolled out his plan for tackling crime and homelessness in the subways. The suspect, Marshall Simon, has four prior arrests and a record of three emotionally disturbed incidents. It is inhumane to take mentally ill people and put them in, in jail for the rest of their lives. At the same time, it's a very hard issue, but you know, letting them back out on the street to reoffend, to cause more violence, is also unacceptable. I spoke with the suspect's sister over the phone. She did not want to go on camera, but said to me, quote, my brother, I feel like, why did they let him out? He's meant ill. Why was he let out? Simon is awaiting arraignment at the hospital. Sources tell CBS2 police are not charging him with a hate crime because the victim was wearing a hood and it's unclear if the suspect ever even saw her face. In Times Square, Ali Bauman, CBS2 News. And just this morning at the West 4th Street station, police say a 44-year-old strap hanger was assaulted by a man with a gun on the platform and robbed of his wallet and cell phone.